because uh, I, I, I did this all the time when I was working on this uh, major uh, jump. Is when I'm passing, I'm not thinking. Yeah, uh, I'm not thinking side control. I'm thinking of walk around side and step over the head, just right away. I'm here, I'm here, 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 and I just want to get here. This right here is a much better position for me than being on his side, uh, being uh, in, a, in a side control position. Side control hard to get, easy to lose. Here, I'm as far away from his feet as I can be. I want to roll him this way here. I want to be on my knees. I want to sit on the saddle, which is shoulder, neck, and head. And preferably, I want to have this arm through or this arm, which enables me to potentially get Kimuras. Okay, we did Kimura yesterday. So whenever you pass the guard and you get here, okay, he's going for an underhook. Even if he starts shooting that underhook, keep shooting, keep shooting, shooting. He's going to have to go to the knees. And I end up walking on the head. And you catch him off. That's, if you don't jam that underhook, the counter is to keep walking the head. And you don't want to let them shut you forward. Because if he gets this underhook and starts shooting you that way, that's bad news for me. So, the second I feel this right here, you basically out circle him and go to the north south matrix. North south matrix is essentially with your knees. Pinching, controlling, I'll do from the other side. Sitting on the saddle. I like to have this foot popped up just so that I can drive my knee forward and then I can begin to flatten it out so that I can drop my hips lower. Because here, I can't drop my hip any lower than my heel. And that's me here. Okay. How it looks like from the other side is this. Two things will happen. You're either going to have, he's going to have this arm on the inside or you'll trap it. Okay, so let's say if we did the arm isolation here, I get here. His arm is basically isolated. So it's either gonna be isolated or it's gonna be not isolated. Whenever I'm here, I wanna be able to control the leg because the concept here is like this. I don't wanna be wide-legged. I wanna be pinching just enough here and sitting here and keeping my chest down. My objective is to prevent him from rolling to his back, and if it, he does, it's on my terms. If he goes to the knees, he goes into the total matrix. But whatever the case may be, his feet have to assume a certain position. For him to roll to his back, that has to happen, because he has to move his hip this way. For him to go to his knees, his feet crawl. So I know which way he's going. With me controlling this top knee here, I can begin to completely negate all of them. If he wants to go to his back, I pull. If he wants to go to his knees, I push. And then I can push, pull, push, pull, okay, but at the, at the knee. And keep control here, as this hand controls his top hand. I want to keep it bladed up, because if I don't, he'll be able to unloop it fairly easily. And I want to keep this loop, because my elbow is also keeping him on his side, okay? So here, as I'm keeping him on his side, my chest also keeps him on his side. So I'm keeping him wedged. So as he's trying to go to his knees, I push. He tries to go to his back, I pull here, okay? And at some point, okay, he's ultimately gonna understand that he's more so stuck here, okay? Rotate a little bit back this way. That's right. To, to your left. So because my hand is here, off the knee, I can just go and control his arm right here. From here, I wanna push, because what happens here is that his hand it's gonna be either grabbing something or not. I wanna take my left bicep, okay? As I get this grip here, and I'm gonna push it down to the mat right here, because it begins to isolate his arm. From here, what's very easy to do is take this hand, push it out, and now isolate it here <clears throat> as I go back here. Now from here, I don't wanna just let it dangle. I wanna push this hand all the way down to the mat with my chest, okay? From here, it becomes very easy to break that grip if he's got a belt. I'm gonna go like a box, to the right, up, and to the left. As I am pushing down with my chest and left uh, arm and shoulder, I'm gonna pull to the right, up, and to the left as one unit. 
and then sit on that. Sat. Okay. So as I'm here, if I start pulling up like this with my arms, it's very hard. Even here, it's hard to break. But here, it's a lot different. Okay. And it's super powerful. Also with this arm isolated, it's hard for him to get this arm back in the game. And even if he manages to bring that elbow down, 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 his right hand, he brings it back through. See, if he, if he wants to roll this back, I can still keep him wedged here. Can you see that? If he wants to bring this arm back through here, okay? My head's down, it's hard for him to defend with that left hand, top hand. So he can't bring it in, okay? And from here, you sit on the saddle, and then you get to come up. Okay, the key is to keep him wedged, to keep control. Okay, jump where you got it. So what I wanna do is saddle, neck, shoulder, neck, and head, and here, I'm gonna get control here. And I wanna keep my chest, I wanna keep him flat right here. I mean, not flat on his side, okay? And what I wanna do is I wanna just control this leg. I wanna be the one that controls the leg. So as he's pulling his legs, he's trying to go to his knees or whatnot, I'm controlling it here. Goes to the, this thing comes down here. Even if my head goes down here, his right hand can't defend that top hand, okay? I can easily go here, back, Push it down, the wrist, and then I'm sitting on that saddle. And to the left, okay? So get to that north-south matrix, sit on the saddle, control the top arm, and get that to more. One, two, three.